everybody, this is Flat Cap Cafe Racer. Um, I want to explain something about my Tiger 900. I had this problem when I brought it home. And what happened was, is I was putting a, a pigtail on the bike. Meerkat. You know, I've, I've got a pigtail and it goes onto the charger. Then I've got another little piece that runs off here. And why I was doing that, uh, it said a TES fault. And the TES fault is associated with the rear suspension. I have electronic rear suspension on this bike. You see the little shock absorber up here and right here, and the little warning here that doesn't go away. I was wondering why that happened. I don't know why it, I know what caused it, but I don't know why this would cause it. This is the, the problem here. Is when I was hooking up the uh, little pigtail to the battery, you know, there's there's always a, sometimes a little spark you get or something like that. I think that what the, the little spark does is it causes a TES fault. I don't know why it does that, because anytime you touch the battery and put it back together, you almost, you know, <clears throat> unless you're exceptionally lucky, you're going to get a little spark there. And if that causes a, a fault, each and every time, then that's, to me, that's a problem. Well, that was the first day I had the bike, and I haven't I haven't done anything with the battery since then, and it, I took it up there, and they, they played with it for a, a good day before they figured out, uh, they got to reset. I couldn't reset it here. It wouldn't reset on its own. Wouldn't any cycles you could do. So, I'm not really sure why Maybe this time they can tell me why it did because I was doing something else with it and I did it with the battery again and it did exactly the same thing with the same same fault. So I'm going to take it up uh, tomorrow and uh, see if they can reset this TES fault. Hopefully I remember the day that it happened and hopefully the, the technician there wrote down something that, that explained how to reset this thing or we're going to have to go through this whole rigmarole again. I'm curious, if you've had a Tiger 900, have you uh, disconnected and connected the battery up? And did you get a, uh, with a GT Pro, it's a GT Pro, did you get the uh, the TES fault? And if you did, what did they tell you? So I'll get back with you and let you know what they tell me and how much trouble they have to reset this thing. Just the normal stuff on right now. The wells will go off once it takes off. Um, they recalibrated it and, and you know, kind of reset everything. Um, one of the things I'm going to show you. So this, this is a piece that they said didn't, they didn't think worked. But I, I'm showing I can adjust it right here, you know. So that looks like it's working fine. So I think what they're going to do is, Prime said uh, recommend replacing, I think, this little electronic unit here. So they're going to warranty that. But uh, it... I think it might be only not because it doesn't work, it, you know, it works now and you have to reset it, but I think maybe the, the new unit perhaps will let you remove the disconnected and reconnect the battery without setting this TES fault. That's the only thing I can think of because once they reset it, it's working fine and I expect it, well, if I disconnect and reconnect the battery, I'll get that fault back. So maybe this new piece will cure that problem. So. If uh, you have had this issue or problem, uh, let me know and, and let me know what they did to fix yours. And I'm really happy that the boys took care of it in two or three hours. And um, I'm happy again. This is Flat Cap Cafe Racer. Bye. Join me and my friends at Flat Cap Cafe Racer for riding and racing. Please subscribe.